say I'm pretty fly for a white guy. Straight up. Smell like worm blood. Because I went fishing. Right with my co-worker. I went fishing with my co-worker. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's my shit. Hey, what is this everywhere I go? <laughs> right? What is that? Just a fucking coincidence? I guess, right? Maybe. Keeping up pace the whole time, right? Like they trying to watch out. But they don't know how to watch out, really. Right? They just... Right, it's like a war, bro. It really is like a war. Except I don't want to... I don't want to fight with people because of what they look like. Right? That shit is moving backwards to me. To me, all that shit is moving fucking backwards. You want to argue about what you look like and shit? Like, I I understand about tribes and tribalism. Believe me. But you know what, man? Tell me what it's worth at the end of the day. Like, what if I had a kid with a Mexican girl, you know? gonna call them names and shit, you know what I mean, that's why, that's one of the reasons I refrain from being with other races, because I don't want to come and have to fucking be a miscreant over name calling to my kid, because I know how people are, right, no matter what area you live in, That's why, that's why I agreed with the black people about a lot of shit, bro. Maybe not all of it, but a lot of it. Because look what they do to me, too. They track and trace my ass, too, just because I grew, grew up around them and, and fucking listened to them and put themselves and put myself in their shoes. Or at least tried to. See, but the thing is, I'm I'm not black, like right. You you see me, and you don't you don't see a black guy now, do you? Even though that's most of my friends growing up, like a lot of them. You know, I, you don't see you don't see me going. Look at all my friends. Every time somebody calls me a racist for saying something they don't fucking agree with, I don't go. Look how many black friends I have. Right? I never did that to somebody online. Right? They all got their fucking narrative too about me. It's all good, bro. Whatever happens to me, happens to me, right? I've been knowing they watching, stalking, and gawking forever. Right? The guy I work with sees them fucking watching me. They ain't watching him. I'll tell you that much. They ain't coming around him like that. Not for him, nah. They're coming around me. Right, they buzzing around me or something like that. Whatever the fuck, whatever it is, you know. Because you think it's going to look like somebody when you see the symptoms of it. And then it looks like somebody you totally wouldn't expect. Right, when you see the symptoms of the stalkerazzi. Getting too close, one light miss. It's not only just one thing I go. Look at stalker, look at the stalkers. Right, it's, it's got to be at least two or three things for me to go stalkerazzi. Right, like the, the light missing, and then they get too close, right? Or the light missing, and it's a red car or something like that, right? Or the or the arm out the window with the wig wags. You know what I mean? Like, it got to be more than one for me. For me. 
I don't just point it at every time I see one hit point. I just show you how often I see it because that's what they're trying to hit me with. One headlight. They, they surround me with people who, like, like the directed conversation shit, right? It's not that they're doing something bad to me, right? I actually get a lot of help from people. But the thing is, it's like, uh... I don't, know, I don't know how to explain it. It's like they know something, right? It's like they know something that I didn't tell them. Right? What have I been putting myself into, dog? Nobody was, nobody could put me up on it, right? Because I'm not a fucking know-it-all, right? I was trying to put everybody up on shit they don't know about. When they were entering situations, right? When I was entering situations, they don't want to put you up on something because that's how they get the bait, right? That's how they get whatever, whatever, right? That's how they get their food. Whatever it is, you know? They ain't getting food from me. I ain't got nothing to give except the fucking zucchini, right? I'm lucky I get tomatoes for compost, dude. Man, that's what I'm lucky for. I ain't lucky for these fucking demons being around me all the time. Right? The, the arguing and the bickering. As soon as I pull up, I can feel the energy, right? It comes over me like like a wave. It's like, right? It's, it's here again, right? It's fucking annoying, dude. It's the worst feeling in the world. Right? I, I've been this way about it. Since, I, since I'm like fucking 10 years old, I felt like that about it. Don't want to be here around these fucking people. Right? It's nothing that it's nothing that I hate about them, right? It's about the way they are around me. Right? It's always been that way. It's probably always gonna be that way. It's always gonna make me feel that way. I just didn't know enough to get away. I was always trying to wonder why the fuck does it feel like against me on purpose? Right? Maybe that's why. Right? Maybe God put me around these people to test my faith in him. To see, like, it's your own family too, bro. Like, don't trust anybody besides God. Straight up.